I think there was a great sense of achievement among the voters I spoke to at the polling station this morning. They felt very proud uh, to be able to vote in this election. Many of them had never voted before under dictatorship. So they are aware of how important this election is, what the, the symbolic value of it. And it's coming at a very poignant time. As you said, four years ago, exactly around this time, this country was in the middle of a popular uprising after the self-immolation of Mohamed Bouazizi. Okay, Navina, tell us about the two men. Who are they and what are their visions for Tunisia? Yeah, they're two very different candidates. Uh, uh, Beshika Ezebsi, who came first in the first round of this election, is 88 years old. He's part of the Tunisian establishment. He has political, political experience of serving under dictatorship. But he says he wants to, he embraces the values of, uh, of democracy and he brings political experience and he can bring stability. The other candidate is 67-year-old Monsef Mazuki. He's the caretaker president at the moment. He was a very prominent human rights activist. He lived in France in exile and came back to Tunisia after the revolution. And he's running on a platform of human rights, of reform, and he's very popular in the South, where the, uh, where the revolution started.